top 8 biggest centipede in the world. In the world, the scariest centipedes on earth are different than spiders or scorpions. Centipedes are gross, angry, and malevolent creatures filled with venom and a desire to eat anything and everything they come across. They can crawl into your shoe or your sleeping bag and, in some cases, finding them will be the last thing you ever do. One look at these guys and you'll be paranoid of them slithering their way into your ear. Why are centipedes so scary? Could it be their legs, their strange bodies, or their deadly venom? Here are some scary facts about centipedes crawling around the earth right now. 8. Scolopendron morsitans has literally endangered other species. It's called the red-headed centipede, but don't let that fool you into thinking it's cute. This thing is bad news. It's actually responsible for the decline of the St. Helena giant tearwing, which is already on the endangered species list. Lucky for most, it's only native to Australia. 7. Scolopendra polymorpha is a common desert horror. While they're usually called the desert centipede, they're also found in tropical climates. They pinch their prey, injecting venom that makes it easier for them to kill and eat. You'd think this thing would just eat other bugs, but they're also known to eat rodents and even frogs. So, if you live the southern US or Mexico watch your small pets. 6. Scolopendra galapagoensis scared the hell out of Charles Darwin. Native to the Galapagos Islands, this is one of the many creatures Darwin saw during his research. It's known as Darwin's Goliath centipede, which isn't freaky at all. They have large, poisonous mandibles they use to capture prey and grows to be more than 30 centimeters. It has a large brain for an insect, which requires a lot of oxygen supplied through tracheal chambers. It loses a lot of water when it breathes, so it has to stay in a humid climate in order to survive. Survive. 5. The Scolopendra cingulata is an eating machine. While centipedes are known for their aggressive behavior, this little guy takes it to a whole new level. It's found in the Mediterranean and is actually one of the smaller species at 10 to 15 centimeters. But don't let its small size fool you, it's an opportunistic eating machine known to take on even small lizards. There was even an example of one of these guys being swallowed by a snake, then busting its way out by eviscerating the snake from the inside out. 4. Scolopendry giganta is the largest centipede in the world. If you hate giant bugs, stay as far away from this one as possible. Reaching lengths of over 35 centimeters, it can reach the length of your forearm. If you think that size would make them less mobile, think again. They can run quickly and climb surfaces easily. These guys are also carnivorous, with a diet of small animals including birds. It's even been known to go after bats. 3. The Scolopendra subspinipes is so poisonous it's a danger to your children. With a black body and orange legs. This thing is a crawling nightmare. Its bite is so poisonous it's actually more painful than many snake bites. If it wasn't scary enough, it can grow to be a foot long and live 10 long years. They hide in damp woods and sometimes inside shoes, so be sure to check before putting them on next time you're in the area, or in the area, too. Scolopendra heroes can kill you just by walking on you. Known as the giant red-headed centipede, this thing is a terror to be avoided. Not only can it cut you by walking on you, but poison can be produced on its legs that will seep into the cuts. There's a story about an officer in the Confederate Army that woke up to one of these things crawling all over him. He soon fell into a fit of pain and convulsions. He died two days later, two days later, one. Scolopendra cataracta can follow you into the water. This recently discovered giant centipede was discovered in Laos. There's only four that have been discovered so far, but it's been determined it has venom that will put you in agonizing pain. The scariest discovery is this bug is amphibious, which means it can hunt on both land and in water. Next time you're in lab